So today we'll be replacing a brake line hose on a 1993 Toyota Camry with 280,000 miles. Now I already replaced the driver's side and it was leaking fluid and the owner was uncomfortable with the passenger side. So even though this isn't leaking because of the age, we're going to replace it as well. To remove that flare nut, what you want to use is a 10 millimeter crow's foot or a flare nut adapter. So you put it on here like that. Now if you use a, a regular open end wrench, then you, you stand a very good chance of stripping these edges off and never getting this thing off. I use my adapter tool over here. And just keep torquing until it finally breaks loose. Okay, now I relieved the tension on here. Now take the brake caliper assembly and move it up above the rotor because if I release it from down here, the brake fluid that's inside the caliper is going to leak out and it's going to cause air pockets. So I don't want to have any air pockets in here. Before we start disconnecting the tube, we're going to replenish the brake fluid reservoir all the way to the top because I know I'm going to lose fluid in the process of removing or replacing this hose. So I'm going to add fluid all the way up to the top. Basically, I'm going to overfill it. When I detach this hose, it's going to start leaking fluid. And then I want to attach this new hose as soon as possible. But the, there's going to be a leak point right over here to attach to the caliper. So to prevent this from leaking fluid, I'll just temporarily put this rubber hose in here like this. There's a retention clip right over here. And I'm going to use these channel pliers to pull that clip out. So this hose is ready to come off this bracket. Now I'm ready to remove this 10 millimeter bolt attached to the suspension strut. And then I'm going to remove the brake caliper. Okay, so I could take this caliper off from this upper pin there. I'll just slightly loosen that up. All right, now I'll attach the new hose. Okay, this hose is off. Now I'll attach the new hose. There's like this little slot down here, it's supposed to line up with this hole, like a groove. And then we should just wiggle this in. Okay, we got that. Now we'll take this clip, put it right here in between the slot. Tighten this up. So keeping this elevated, we won't allow any air to get in here. Maybe just a tiny bit. So this little pin is supposed to line up into this pinhole over here. So push this hose out of the way. You put a new copper washer here. Get a new copper washer on the bolt. can attach the caliper back onto the caliper bracket. Then we attach the brake hose to the strut bracket. To make sure that there's absolutely no air in the caliper, we could break loose the bleeder service valve and using a suction tool we can draw it out. This is an 8mm nipple. 
All right, so this is my Mighty Vac suction tool. Put it on a nipple. As it's drawing fluid, it'll also draw out any air. So that should be good enough. Now I'm going to close off this service valve. Just make sure uh, you replenish the reservoir brake fluid if it's low. And we're done.